and picking up where we left off here we are on Amazon now Amazon is the number one e-commerce brand in the world specifically number one in the United States but the crazy thing is what you didn't know is that 70 to 80 percent of the products that you see on Amazon as like what I'm showing you right now are sold by third-party sellers like me and yourself who go on a website called AliExpress which I will show you and buy these products for less and sell them for more for a market value and they able to generate profits now the difference between drop shipping on Amazon and drop shipping on Shopify excuse me to drop ship on Amazon you need you don't need necessarily but you should have a product that you know that is a best seller or that you tested in Shopify which I recommend you do first make a Shopify store first then once you get a product that's consistently selling that's not just seasonal not just in the trend of the moment but something that you can sell year round or it could be seasonal I'll backtrack it can be a seasonal product and you can sell it on Amazon because I mean sell it on Shopify and then once that begins you know articulating you can move on to Amazon you can go to Alibaba and you know you can start Amazon FBA I know I just hit you with a lot of information there don't let it confuse you too much if you need to go rewind this back a little bit watch this video and you'll understand what I'm talking about so let's load up this product this product right here because football seasons here and I feel like talking about some football now what you have in front of you is a Kansas City Chiefs Galaxy SX phone cover I'm pretty sure that the person who's selling this is getting this from Alibaba or AliExpress and the cool thing is they're selling it here on Amazon for $14.99 so $15 they're probably buying this for $3 if not 5 at the most so they're profit anywhere from 10 to $12 in their pocket but the difference between selling on Amazon and Shopify is Amazon as I mentioned before is the number one e-commerce brand meaning they have thousands millions of people coming on here on a regular basis I believe over a million people come to Amazon every single day so the good thing about this is if you decide to go with Amazon FBA you will get tons of traffic you might have to do a little research to outrank your, com your competition or find ways that you can you know still fit in with your competition if you're selling a similar product that she other selling but aside from that you should get a pension of that traffic even if you get 10% of that you still should make a decent amount of money if you choose a good product now the downfall of Amazon which will take us to Shopify is when you sell on Amazon yeah you might be able to get tons of traffic because Amazon's a trusted brand the number one e-commerce brand but you don't get to keep in contact with the customers let alone you don't even get to control let me let me phrase it in a way it makes sense you can't con you can only control but so much of your your listings or your Amazon store that you're selling on now we have Shopify over here Shopify is a up up and coming e-commerce brand has been around since 2008 but around 2013 2015 it really exploded into the market and this is where drop shipping became so popular so difference between Shopify and Amazon is Shopify you are able to not only build your store and customize it the way you want but you're also able to get your customers email information so that you can uh, send them notifications of new products you can send them deals you can send them BOGO releases that mean buy one get one and there's different types of variants that you can use when going on Shopify now the downfall of Shopify versus Amazon Shopify it is a well-known platform but you do have to build everything from the ground up which is not if you're a beginner or intermediate it's not challenging it's just something that you have to practice repetition is key the more you practice the better you'll get and the other downfall it's not really a downfall but you have to get traffic to Shopify versus Amazon just automatically sending you traffic because of Amazon you have to for Shopify you actually have to go to Facebook Instagram Twitter Pinterest YouTube wherever you want to send traffic and you have to send that to the store so 
instead of being the middleman like you are on Amazon, you have to do everything. Like Shopify, you are the business. Everything runs, starts, ends, finishes with you. So I could go into more detail about the two, but I'll save that for another video. In this video, I just want to cover what is drop shipping. So lastly, let me show you where you can go to get these products. Now in this video you heard me mention AliExpress. This is the website AliExpress. This will become your best friend right here. This is one of my favorite platforms. I've drop shipped a lot of items on here. I made a lot of money on here. Also ordered some things on here for myself, my friends, my family. And I like it. So this is Amazon. Uh, sorry, what am I thinking? This is AliExpress. This is basically the Japanese version China. I think it's China. I don't know why I say Japanese. This is the China version of Amazon basically for people across the world. But us third party sellers or drop shippers, we will use this to come here and get products to sell at a retail price. So what we're looking at right now is a wholesale price. And if you forgot what I mentioned earlier in the video, wholesale is the price we buy for, retail is the price that we sell it for. So just gonna click on a product right here um, products like skin I don't really like dealing with because there's a precaution that you might have to go through if it messes up with somebody's face or stuff like that so um, let's not make this too difficult let's click on let's click on this fishing rod right here so as you can see Hold on, while this loading up, I want to show you the different types of selections that you have when you're on AliExpress. So while that loads up, I guess I'll have to show you after this. Okay, cool. So while this product is loading up, I'm going to also show you the different types of categories that you can go to to see not only just this particular item because that shows a fishing rod because it's summertime well it's yeah it's still summertime fall hasn't kicked in yet but I just load this up for the process of explaining so right here you see we got this nice spinning fishing rod got nice pictures and hold on here stay with me I know the screen went blank but it's okay don't panic just let it run its course it's just my computer trying to load up the video I'll wait here for a few moments Come on computer, you got this. Come on, buddy. And we're back. So, like I saw, you can sell this for ten dollars and sixty five ten dollars and sixty five cent or fourteen ninety one which is the price that you will buy it for so on average you're looking at you can sell this for at least thirty four ninety five or thirty nine ninety five so you're looking at a twenty dollar to twenty five dollar profit margin in your pocket and what you want to do is come down here to where it says free shipping you click on this and always remember this you want to choose e packet shipping if, you, if your product you see doesn't have e packet shipping it's best for you just to stay away from that because it's going to be a hassle. Customers are going to complain, asking, wondering where their product is. Now, they will do that in general, but if you don't have e-package shipping, and for example, you just chose standard shipping, it'll be a headache that you'll wish that you never walked into. So, let me show you the different categories of selections of products, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So over here on the categories as you see on the left we have women's clothing we have men's clothing we have phones and accessories like that phone case I showed you on Amazon and if you just hover over it you have all these other different types of products how they break down on the niche so it's very important you pick a specific niche not only you don't have to 
you should be passionate about it, but if you're just looking to make money, you have to pick a niche which is in the moment, which is either trending, seasonal, or evergreen. Evergreen will be your best bet because it'll sell year long. And um, continue on. We have women's clothing. We have computer office and security. We have consumer electronics. We have jewelry and watches. Home and garden if you're in the outdoor niche. Bags and shoes, toys, kids, and babies, beauty, health, and hair, sports and outdoors, automobiles and motorcycles, and home improvement tools. So, that's basically everything I wanted to cover in this video. Check out the links below in the description for more information. Right here, I'm going to have a playlist for you for my drop shipping e-commerce playlist of which I've articulated over the years to help you further grow on your drop shipping journey check out my most recent video right here subscribe to me over here thank you so much for watching this video definitely subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them below I'll do my best to respond to all of you um, this has been your friend and mentor, Mr. Da Vinci, signing off. Best of luck to you on your drop shipping journey.